said that he wanted to come to the pet shop and I was like I don't really want to go because we've been to Spain before and I've seen like rabbits kept in tiny cages and it's just like really upsetting but he was like no this one's different we've come here there's like puppies and kittens and I still don't agree with it but I'm still going to show you what they look like because they are cute isn't he sweet <laughs> Is he gonna get his Go friend? Oh, it's a Shiba Inu. Oh, look at the. It's the one store we don't have in the UK, a Sephora. I cannot wait. Moisturizing. Should have been a I need these as well. 17 euros for that. Oh no, that's going back. Here we are, back in the hotel room. I'm going to do a really quick mini haul for you. We've got David over there. Do you wanna wave at everyone? Hi. The things that I like from Sephora the most are the Sephora own brand products. So I got like a whole bunch of these face masks. I absolutely love these. I got this, which is a rose moisturizing cream. I got a couple of hand moisturizers and then they've got a whole section in there for korean beauty this i've tried before jill in south korea you sent me it wasn't the sleeping pack you actually sent me like one of these like a sheet mask version of this and it was brilliant most of the time actually when i wear masks i will leave them on and sleep in them anyway so when i saw there was like a whole thing about sleeping in masks then i thought that was quite good doesn't smell of anything. Right, the other things are, I got one of these. This is the Huda Beauty um, lip tin. And then just some of these makeup sponges. We are gonna be going to Cannes today, which is one of the places that I've been most excited about going to. I said earlier in this vlog we went to see, sorry. We went to see, uh, we went to Monte Carlo, kind of wasn't really like that amazing. Saint Tropez, really nice, but very kind of like beachy. What's your favorite bit about the whole trip being? Um, I don't know yet, let's wait until we get to Cannes. Okay, hopefully that will be the best. I think so far, I've really enjoyed the day you and I had where we were just in Nice and we didn't go anywhere and just walked around. And I've also really enjoyed Saint Tropez. Didn't like Monaco, Monte Carlo. Wouldn't go back there again, but glad we went. And I know it sounds really trivial, but I actually want to talk to you about this car park because when we drove in, signs to sh remind you what floor you're on are all to do with film. So here you've got like an old fashioned camera. On level one, it was Marilyn Monroe. I'm absolutely starving. So it's around about, it is coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon and we got up this morning. What we haven't done is we haven't actually pre-booked breakfast where we are because you know, it's like they charge so much in these hotels and it's really rarely worth it, actually. Can you see? That's level two with the filmage. There. <laughs> we just had lunch and I totally forgot to film it. I'm sorry about that. But now we're just gonna have a walk around and see what is here. It looks like along by the beach there is a main parade of shops. Here we go, we found the place. Dior, the motherland. Like over there, look, there's Prada along there. So I think this is the main area, possibly. And then the other way, there's more shops. Which way should we go? Go in here. Um, I'd like to start at the top and walk down, actually, I think. Would you? Oh, there's that bag I looked at yesterday. Look at that. 
Hang on, I'm not. What do you think of it? I don't really like the colour. No, I know what you mean. Now I don't I really see. like that bag actually. Well, you said you liked it. No, I said like the other one with the wooden handle. Oh. Oh, I like that. Look at that sweater. That's really nice. And the boots. And the jeans. Actually, I like that whole look. All of this is nice. That's quite a cool look, isn't it? I like that where it's all black, but it's like broken up with bits of gold detailing. By the way, in Chanel, there was nice stuff in there that you saw in the window, but it's more expensive than going to London. I got it wrong. I thought that it was a little bit cheaper. It's not. It's like there was a bag that was 3,260 euros. In London, it's 2,800. But with the currency conversion, it ends up being around 3,000. So it's not worth it anyway, which is kind of annoying. Cause you know when you're like, oh, I want to get something here. But here we go. It's a nice car, isn't it? Very nice. I like this gray color. It seems to be quite popular out here. Like in the UK, it's like white car, and over here it's this grey colour. So this is where they have Cannes Film Festival. Look, they've still got they've got the red carpet out for you, David. Do you want your picture taken on there? I think they're round here. No, no, but there's the red carpet, isn't it? What is? I don't even know. Maybe that's for the yachting festival. That's why people are having their picture taken. Oh, okay. I tell you what, it's really nice round here. In Nice, excuse the pun, nice and Nice. In Nice, it's quite, um, it feels quite polluted there. It's like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like motorcycles and cars. And when you're walking down the street, I'm not joking you, it's like you can taste petrol. It's not very nice, but here it feels a lot cleaner. Seen that in the UK. No, you can't do it. They get, you can't get them in. The UK. Didn't they do that in red as well? It's typical, right? This is what annoys me, right? Bentley are a UK-based company, <laughs> and they do not offer the Continental 24. I think it's called the Europe 24 Europe car um, in the UK. Well, you can't have it all, can you? You know how I feel about Bentley. I've kind of gone off them. I can't say stuff like that. I can say stuff like that because as a car, I don't love. I don't, I don't love the ride of it. I know what you're going to say about suspension, but it's still wallowy. There's Sophie Chauhet. Oh it's boiling here, and I like the heat, but this is really... It's not that bad. I think, I think you've got a temperature. Maybe. It's, I find it cooler than these. Sophie wants to go to the JW Grill can. We actually did eat lunch earlier, but... We didn't film it. I forgot to film I, I, I'm glad you did. I didn't like mine, it wasn't very nice. I was so hungry, I just ate really quickly. Yeah, so did I. And you know when you're really hungry and you still just, you still don't like the food? I was eating the bread. You I know just, it's bad. I couldn't stop eating the bread. I have eaten so much bread on this holiday. I've eaten more than I've eaten a year. Oh look, there's Hermes. Hermes. I, did I pronounce it right? Yeah. Hermes. Yeah. Oh look, there's Hermes. <laughs> David Cam. <laughs> Walk across the thing. Don't get run over. I'll video you walking. What am I doing? You're walking towards oh, Hermes, and I'll feel. But don't, don't, don't get run over. Go and ask for the Birkin. Go and ask. Say. Knowing your luck, they'll produce one, and it will be something like crocodile. It'll be like a million pounds, and then you'll feel like a absolute tool for us. These luxury shops just keep on coming on and on. I know, I know. They just it's go. It's a shame though. They go on and on and on. Don't you think it's really annoying that they're more expensive than London? Well, it's because of the euro. No, actually, sorry, it's not because of the euro. It's because of the pound. Yeah. Um, as soon as Brexit was announced, the just pound slide. has taken a bit of a hit. Which is good for anyone visiting London. Yeah, it's you good make for London. A saving. We're coming up to um, a McLaren here. 
720S. Um, this is what we wanted to, to get, but we're not now because, um, well, I don't know. We, we've got to do a few things first before we get a car like this again. Um, so yeah. This is my favorite bit of every video where I get to come and sit and talk to you. I'm gonna show you the things that I bought. I said at the end of this I was gonna do a haul and it's not a huge haul, but we do have some Chanel and two things from Chanel actually. And I've gotta show you the homeware things that I found. At the end of part two, I think I told you that I had an ear infection. And as a result, I feel like I just wanna say not that it probably really matters, but it matters to me. When I was editing this, I felt really, in the video footage, I felt like I was really flat. Like, normally I'd be a lot more excitable, and just in general, on that holiday, I did not feel excitable at all. In fact, what happened was, I got an ear infection around about two weeks before we went on holiday. I didn't even know it was an ear infection. I was out with a friend of mine and I felt this intense, sharp pain that went through my ear. It was like so sharp, I actually like shouted a bit and it felt like somebody had got a knitting needle and they just like shoved it through. And then that was it. It was like a one-off pain. And then the days that followed, I was like sweating, I felt really confused, really delirious, I felt really sick, I couldn't stop sleeping. I had this headache that wasn't in my ear, it was kind of like around my ear and the cartilage bit of my ear really hurt. I got put on antibiotics, a week later the antibiotics haven't worked, they put me on another set of antibiotics, a week later they didn't work, then I'm going to go on holiday, they put me on the third antibiotic and they didn't work. I was living on paracetamol. The second night I was there, you saw in part one, David and I got absolutely trolleyed. We were just drinking. That helped the pain at the time, but the next day I really suffered for it. I'm starting to feel better now. I'm on antibiotic number four right now. Should I do the haul? Should I just do that? Because maybe you're here for that and you're like, don't care about anything else. When we were away, I didn't actually buy that much because I personally thought the shopping was pretty average in the south of France. There were all of the brands that you would normally find in London, only because of the currency conversion it was more expensive over there. There was nothing that I saw over there, apart from one thing that I bought, that was unique to over there that I hadn't seen in London. Most of the boutiques that were independent didn't have independent French brand labels. They had labels like Pinko, which you can get in the UK as well. And so again, it was like, I'm not gonna buy a Pinko jacket over here that's gonna cost me more than London. And I don't even like it that much anyway. And particularly in Nice, a lot of the shops, particularly the market in the old town, it's just tourist stuff. It's like postcards and sun hats and bars of lavender soap. When I went to Saint-Tropez in part one, Saint-Tropez was probably, along with Cannes, Saint-Tropez was probably my favorite place out of the whole holiday. When we went to Saint-Tropez though, there was that Chanel pop-up store that some of you saw. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. I don't know how long it's there for, but essentially it's like a mansion that's along the harbor. It's like this huge house and they've completely gutted it in all of the different rooms in the house. You can't go upstairs in it, but all of the downstairs rooms, you walk in through the front door and it's like, um, they've just filled it up with Chanel clothes and bags. The only thing I saw when I was there that I was like, I absolutely love those and I really want to get them were these. That is patent leather. Can you see it's got a bit of a shine? And then this is all navy blue around here. The other thing is in here. I didn't get it on the same day. Actually, this is a bit of a weird one. Some of you have seen these already. They're Chanel earrings that have got little dice on them. I actually bought these in London when I got back and I already included them in a haul a couple of weeks ago. Can't remember which video it is, to be honest. David actually spotted these in Monte Carlo. And because of the dice on it, it just felt so fitting at the time, you know, because of like the casino there and stuff. They only had one pair in the store and they were like the display pair and they looked like they'd been, not tried on, but you know what I mean? They looked, they didn't look fresh. Plus as well, the price, it just, 
I was saving some money going to London and I could get a fresh pair and they checked for me and they had them in Harrods so I ended up getting them in Harrods. I want to show you the name of this shop so that if you're going to Saint-Tropez and if you like the look of this that you know where to go. Can you see there? That's got the street name on it I think. Yep, so that's there. This shop that we walked past, this was in Saint-Tropez as I've mentioned and it was down this little alleyway and opposite it was a homeware shop and this was a shop that did uh, bathroom stuff so it had wash bins, soap dispensers, things to put your toothbrush in, bath towels. Probably next year now David and I are planning on updating one of the bathrooms where we live. We know the colour scheme that we want to go for, we don't really want to do the work at this point because with winter here it's a um, it's like a top floor bathroom um, and our house has got fourth floors and on the top floor it's going to be like a really big job they're going to be we i just know they're going to be like carting all the stuff up and down and it's almost like in the hallway in like the main hallway bit where all the stairs are i really want to get that painted we both do but we're thinking there's no point in getting it painted because they're going to be taking rubble and like the old bath and stuff back and forth and they'll probably mark the walls so there's all this stuff that's on hold we don't want to do it in the winter because then it's going to be cold and all the doors and windows are going to be open so we're probably going to do it in the spring anyway <laughs> i saw this and this perfectly matches the um the color scheme that we want to do which is like really light pink when i when i say pink don't be like wow this bathroom sounds like a nightmare when i say light pink you know mother of pearl pink where it's very subtle we want to have a mixture of those plus white you know those tiny mosaic tiles we want those on the walls so that it is it's pink but it's not really pink it's you know what I'm saying. And these are gonna go so well. Now for your questions and comments, I'm gonna try and be quick because I think I've been talking for quite a long time. If you haven't watched part one and part two, what David John is saying might not make too much sense to you. If you, particularly if you go back and watch part two where I went to Monte Carlo, the clothes there were very year 2000. Lots of fur, lots of bright colours and crystals everywhere. I have not seen crystallised stuff like that since like 2002. Do, is there anything I regret not buying? No. Christian Fredrickson, you said, first of all, thank you for your postcard. This is because I get loads of you writing to me and I always write back. You were saying that you and your husband love to travel and it would be great if I shared the itinerary of where we stayed, where we flew into, etc not much of an itinerary normally i would properly plan where we're going to go beforehand and i'd have a bit of a list just you know places that i want to go to so when we get there we've actually got a plan i didn't do that because i felt like death and when we got there we just it was like getting up in the morning how are you feeling yeah i think i can manage this let's get in the car and go somewhere so i didn't really have an itinerary we flew into nice airport we stayed at the boscolo hotel in nice which I've got to recommend Autograph Collection Hotels. They are part of the Marriott group and they are like a diffusion line of the Marriott. They're quirky luxury. They're like quite youthful, quite edgy, quite young. Um, and I just recommend them. I've stayed in a few and they're really good. What is the name of the street you're going to south of France soon you'd love to visit? I don't know this name of the street that you meant and I did look at the video that came from, but we were in quite a few streets. In most of the places we went to, I don't feel like there was, except maybe in Nice, and I don't even know, know the name of the street, there wasn't like a, there wasn't like a main street, it was kind of just walk around and you'll find things. Blue Zero Frangi, I like your critique here, you've said please don't repeat scenes. So what this is about is sometimes in my videos, I'll do the talking bit and you'll see things and then to try and set the scene, I will put in clips that I've just filmed of the surroundings and I'll put some music over it. And in the last couple of videos, I have repeated, like uh, if I have a clip of a boat, you'll see that twice kind of thing. And I completely take on board your feedback. I love getting your feedback. I want your feedback, by the way. You cannot offend me at all. If I was easily offended, I wouldn't be doing YouTube. So just tell me what you think because I want you to watch and enjoy it. So it's good for me to know. Denise said, you just got back from holiday from Monaco. Did we see the car collection of Prince Albert? I would have loved to. We also wanted to go to the aquarium. When we got to Monte Carlo, we didn't do any research. We were sort of aimlessly walking around and we didn't know where to go. We didn't know where the main areas were. And I've had so many of you since going, why didn't you go here and go there? And it's just like, 
we were so ill prepared plus as well on this holiday we were both so tired we were exhausted so what you saw on videos isn't us chilling out and sleeping and eating places i would normally have filmed more of that but we were just so dead jd cakes you want to know what color did i get the mini maestra in you're trying to decide on a color for the medium in case you're like what are what are we talking about here in the video i took two bags with me one of them was this this is the mini maestra this is in the color coral and i don't know if you've seen any of them but there's one in the color called latte and i really like it so um j mac you had said in the video where i'm using this you have said has every blogger been gifted those bags they're everywhere all of a sudden i have made no secret about the fact that i have been given this and i am actually really grateful to get given it really i don't get given anything doing blogging and i don't ask for it either so when someone says to me do you want something like this and it's such good quality and i love it and i use it all the time i'm really grateful i know in this world of youtube that sponsorships get really blooming annoying after a while it's i'm it's annoying for me and i do youtube but equally when i digest content myself it's really irritating when you see content that is everything's like a product placement or or i'll see things and i'll know through doing youtube that that particular brand deal is paid but it's not been declared like there's there's a whole load of stuff that goes on and it is really frustrating but i've also told you all before that doing youtube is very expensive as a businesswoman i need it to wash its face which it doesn't <laughs> but any money that i get from anything to do with youtube helps me clear my bills on it when it comes to the monthly subscriptions paying for final cut pro pay, like everything that goes with it licensing fees and um and yeah although it's like annoying um and i get it i feel very grateful to get given these things i'm sorry if you feel that way that it that you've seen it everywhere i don't actually watch any channels on youtube except for crime crime channels and urban dereliction <laughs> so i don't know if anyone else has got given it ashley dunn again i really liked the fact that you were just honest here ashley i 100 percent agree and um I, I as i've said in in these videos i recorded really i recorded the bare minimum and i felt like death so when i did relax and do other things with david it wasn't filmed because we just wanted that time to ourselves and also you don't want to watch us on the beach that's boring and no one's seeing me on the internet in my bikini however i take your comments on board and i will include more cultural things next time um and it's no excuse either but there wasn't culturally there wasn't a huge amount to do where we went thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed this mini series if you haven't seen the other bits i'm going to link to those below as i mentioned and i will see you in the next video